What? What you, what you say? All of this bullshit. Prove it. Hey, go, go, go catch your damn bus, man. All right? <laughs> Finish in America, man. Okay, but look, your son doing more of an admirable thing than you, man. Bring it up. That's why the Lord had to take Abraham from his daddy, man. Finish, bro. It's crazy, man. He saying this, he saying this bullshit, but he probably had to go get a damn forty and kick it in the damn hood. Bring it up. But we, but we teaching bullshit though. No doubt. Gave me something to today. I have to work on me. I have to work on me. But I'm not lost anymore. We came from roaches on the floor. A notice on the door. Baking soda in the jar, but now we focus on the law. It's like soap up in a cloth. The way it's soaking and it wash. It's something like good dope. Cause it's potent and it's raw. I used to post up out of store. Work stash behind the door. Everything I had was pure. So fiends was coming back for more. The most high opened my eyes. And then I seen that I was flawed. Now I'm addicted to these laws. Because they potent and they raw. I was in and out of jail. Cause in the streets, yeah, I was lost. Trying to be like all the hustlers. They don't tell you what's I want to start off by saying Ka Halal Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah That's all praises to the Heavenly Father Through His only begotten Son Who the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ All right, all right Through the Spirit of the Lord We out here week in and week out To teach the truth of the Bible, man all right, not 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 the lies and falsehood that's getting taught around here. We all about the truth, and the Lord only died for the Israelites. That's right. Charge. Give me Second Chronicles six and six. Bring it out, what you got? You hold this. Me... This is uh, Isaiah fifty-eight. Hey, hey, where you going? Come here, come here, come here. What's your ethnicity? What's your ethnicity? Yeah, I say, what's your ethnicity? Not your religion. Oh, you Puerto Rican? Okay, okay. You know, you know what the word Puerto Rican means? Puerto Rico? What it mean? Okay. Take all the gold, the gold, kill the Indians and go away. Ain't go away. Yeah, they took y'all gold and went away. Cause they the wicked people on earth, man. All right. So the conquistadors they came and did that to the Taínos. They the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. And so-called Puerto Ricans, the chosen people of God. You know that, man? You the chosen. Give me First Peter two and nine. Read this. Look, look what God say about this. Second hey, Chronicles hey, 6 and 6. Look at Second Chronicles chapter 6, verse 6. But I have chosen Jerusalem. Yeah, what? I have chosen Jerusalem. Yeah, chosen Jerusalem. And Puerto Ricans, they part of Jerusalem. You part of the Israelites, the 12 tribes of God. All right? Go ahead. That my name might be there. Go ahead. And have and have chosen David to be over my people Israel. Yeah, to be over his people Israel. So you come from the chosen people of God, so-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. That's right. The true ethnic Israel. Israelites, all right? right? We the same people. You listen to Big Pun? You ever heard of Big Pun? Yeah, so we the same people, man. Watch this before you go. Where you headed to? 16 and 11. Where you headed to? Let me show you why you shine. Give me Jeremiah 17. Bring it up. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, verse 11. I deck thee also with ornaments. Yeah, the Lord said he deck you with ornaments. What's your name? Johnson. Okay, he deck you with ornaments. That's why he look at you. You shining. Go ahead. And I put bracelets upon thine hand. You got a bracelet upon your hand, don't it? Look at you, cause you an Israelite, man. Right. That's in your blood to do that, all right? That's but right. Equals, that's what they do, man. We the right. chosen. In the chain on thy neck. In a what? In a chain on thy neck. In a chain on thy neck, man. Cause you an Israelite, that's why you do that, man. So you gotta repent. Cause the kingdom of the kingdom of God is at hand. That's right. All right? So you gotta do what you're supposed to do for the heavenly father. Because if you don't, it's going to be a judgment that's going to come upon our people. Don't you see it day in and day out? Our people dying, all type of stuff. So this is, give me um, Ecclesiastes 12. You can um, drop the Jeremiah. Nah, it's all right. Ecclesiastes 12. Let me show you what your whole duty as a man of the Lord is supposed to do. 12 and 13. All right, you say you're headed to work right now? Where you work at, man? You swagged out like that, headed to work? Dripping sauce, you got motion, huh? Oh, the convention center? Okay, okay, getting it in. Watch this before you pray. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 to 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. All right, so this is the conclusion of the whole matter, of life, anything you're going through, God. Fear your Yahweh. Yeah, fear. You got to fear the Lord. That's who you got to fear. Don't, don't worry about men out here. They can't do, they only can kill your um, flesh. They can. The Most High can kill you. He can destroy your soul. That's so right. Fear the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. And keep His commandments. And do what? And, and keep, keep His commandments. commandments. You got to keep the commandments of the Heavenly Father. 
he gave so called our, our ancestors, so called like the indigenous Indians oh, oh, that was over here, they come from Israel. So before they came from Israel, they had laws we had to keep and how we supposed to govern ourselves. So you got to get back to that command. Get, give me Jeremiah 6 and 16. Oh, Pat. Jeremiah 16 and 6. 6 and 16. But this is the whole duty of men. This is the what? This is the whole duty of men. This is your whole duty as a man. Is to keep the laws of the Heavenly Father. Because you from the chosen people of God. You know Christ, he only died for the Israelites. He only died for your forefathers. He only died for so-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. True Israelites, all right? So you got to get back to the old ways of what we was doing before the conquistador came and gave us this guy right here, man. That ain't how Christ looked according to the Bible. That's right. You know that? He was a melanated man. He didn't look like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he was, he was melanated. He was a dark-skinned man. But we Israelites, we come in different shades of brown. Right? right? So it, it it ain't just no one one look that we got. We all look different. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Yeah, we know. So book of Jeremiah chapter six verse sixteen. Bring it up. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. That's the Lord talking to you right now. Why you headed to the convention center? He stopped you for a reason. I right, got. Stand ye in the ways and see, uh -huh. and ask for the old path. Ask for the what? And ask, ask for, for the, the old path. path. You gotta ask for the old path. Cause this new path, it ain't getting us nowhere. It's leading us to destruction cause the blind leading the blind. Now you gotta walk in the light and go into the right path for the heavenly father. It's all right if you live your life, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta live your life in righteousness right? and the Lord gonna increase everything you got. Right? You know what I'm saying? You're gonna go to another, you're gonna elevate even to another level. All right, you says, where is the good way? Uh, where is the good way, Johnson? And walk therein. Yeah, walk therein. So this is what you got to walk in. This is your true heritage. Your ancestors wrote the Bible, man. This so-called so white people didn't write this. All right? So they, they just came and made religions out of it. But this is your heritage. All right? Taitos, the, all the indigenous Indians, they was true Israelites. All right? So remember that and repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? Remember that, bro. All right, be safe, man. All right, bro, repent. What you got going? What's up, man, bro? Oh, you hit the alarm. Give me a, um, give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. You ever heard your Israelite before? Oh, man. Okay, that's what's up. Last 144,000. You said what? Last 144,000. Okay, well, yeah, it's more than that, but that's going to be the governing body, all right? But it's going to be Israelites. They're going to be coming from everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Come on, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1. Remember now thy creator. So you got to remember now thy creator. The creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Only the God of the Israelites. So remember now thy creator. Go ahead. In the days of thy youth. In the days when? In the days of thy youth. So you got to remember the Lord in the days of your youth. How old are you? 31. 31. You a young man. You in your prime. When Jordan was 31, he was still putting up buckets. So you in your prime. Give me um Proverbs 20 and 29. Go ahead. It says, while the evil days come not. Yeah, don't wait till the evil days come. Then you try to search the Heavenly Father. Nah, do it while you got full strength. And you got the motion to serve the Lord to the best the best aptitude you can do. All right? Because a lot of our people try to wait when they in a the damn car crash or they life going down the sparrow. Then, oh, or they want to call for God then. No, he ain't your personal genie. When you just do what you want to do, then as soon as you get in a bad predicament, you want to call on him. It don't work like that. You got to serve the Lord in truth. In his spirit, all right? Right. Right. says, nor the years draw nigh uh -huh. when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Yeah, no pleasure in them. So you want to have pleasure in when you serving the Lord. So when you do it at a young age, that's even better because you ain't got certain ailments. You you know what I'm saying? You can move. You can, you know, be out here doing the work we doing right now for the Heavenly Father. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about certain things. So right. do it while you in your best form. You know, you're in your prime right now, man. So you got to keep getting this worried. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 20 and 29. Look it up. What's your name, bro? David. David. Okay, like King David in the Bible, man. Uh, you know King David. Uh, give me um, Acts 13. The glory of young men. Yeah, the glory of young men. You a young man, guy. Is their strength. It's their strength. So when you come in to serve the Lord, now you got plenty of strength. Because you a young man right now. All right, so that's why we telling you through the Spirit, this is the best time to learn this. And, and get the like hit the deck running as soon as you learn this you know right. what I'm saying because it's the only way bro all these other ways gonna lead to nothing but death right. Right. and the beauty of older men Go is ahead. the gray head it's what it's the gray head it's the gray head that's only a wisdom found there though because a lot of people walking around with gray hair but they don't know a damn thing right, right? that's why i say it might be a man that seems 
so acceptable amongst the children of man. Yet, if his wisdom not there, he be accounted as nothing. Right. So just because you got gray hair don't mean, you know what I'm saying, you got wisdom. But right. just know wisdom got to be there. And you at the perfect time to get the wisdom. So when, Lord willing, when you do get gray hair, if we still here, you got the wisdom of the Lord. You That's know right. what I'm saying? You say your name, David. Watch this. So, uh, it's Acts 13 and verse 22. It says, and when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David. He raised up to them who? David. David. He raised up David, a powerful brother from the tribe of Judah, man. Wow. All right? King David. You know what I'm saying? He was killing them. He was out here killing them. Right? Like they say now, we sliding on the ops. He was out there really killing all the ops. That's right? right? right. With the mighty men. Right. Right. Yeah. It says he raised he raised up unto them David to be their king to be our king. All right, so David was our king, I right, a righteous king, God, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David the son of Jesse, the son of Jesse, God, a man after my own heart. Man, what? A man after my own heart. So King David was a man after the Most High's own heart. That's the same way you gotta be. This your ancestor. It's in you too. That same spirit. That's right. It's in you too. You know, we all we all Israel. Yahweh shot the only one that had the spirit without measure. Right. But since you an Israelite, you got that same spirit in you to do what King David did. Alright, keep going. Which shall fulfill all my will of this man's seed. Like this man's seed. So a King David seed, you know. Had God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel. Raised up to who? Raised up to Israel. Not everybody. Raised up to Israel. These damn crackers walking around. Raised up to Israel. A damn, um, Barney Fife right there. Raised up to Israel. Raised to Israel. So called blacks and Latinos. That's right. The true Israelites of God. God. A savior. Jesus. You can read it out. A savior. Yeah, I was shot. I was shot. He the savior of the Israelites. Why didn't say he died for everybody right there? You know what I'm saying? Give me Mark 14 and um, 24. Bring it up. God, this is the book of Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. So the man that wandereth out the way of understanding. We see this day in and day out. Our people, they want, like his daddy just came up. You know what I'm saying? Scoffing basically. He wandered out the way of understanding. Right. Talking about this BS, but what he finna go do? Nothing. He ain't finna do nothing productive. Right. What we doing out here productive? We put first of all, we doing the work of the Heavenly Father. Then on top of that, we got YouTube channels. We building something up. What he doing for himself? Nothing. A damn thing. Just out here scoffing, go ahead. Um, the man that under Slotia, Proverbs 21, 16 from the top. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Congregation of what? Of the dead. Yeah, so a lot of our people out here spiritually dead. That's right. Because they wonder about the way of understanding. So we got to get back to the understanding of the Heavenly Father and not lean into our own understanding. Because that's what a lot of our people been coming up here all day talking about they own understanding on how they going to do it. Right. No, nah, if it ain't the Lord's will, it ain't going to happen. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because you can think, oh man, I just, I just came up. Give me um. What you got? It ain't about that father's business. Ah, right, you can do it. Yeah, Yo, you think if you ain't doing what the Lord's saying, do you think you didn't came up? Matter of fact, give me Ecclesiastes 20 and 29. 29, hold yep. what you got. Ecclesiastes, all right. Watch this, because a lot of people think that, say, if you, you can hold it. That's it. All right, this is A lot of people think that they came up on something, but at the end of the day, you next thing you know, the Lord will put you to death right after you did that because you ain't giving reverence. To him or his son. Watch right. this. Proverbs 20. I mean, 20 and 20 and 9. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 20, verse 9. Pick it up. There is a sinner that has good success and evil things. So it's a sinner that has good success and evil things. You see how people out here are that they might get some racks, but they out here doing wicked. They probably breaking in people's houses, right. doing all type of madness that's contrary to the you know to the words of the Lord. Right, so they got this so-called success, but watch this, go ahead. And there is a gain that turned it to loss. That's a gain that turned it to what? To loss. So it's all going to become a loss. They think they got a gain, but as soon as the Lord put the judgment on them and their indignation, they're going to get this over. It's going to be a loss. That's right. So you got to get success as far as doing the spiritual bidding of the Heavenly Father. That's, right, That's the type of success we want. We, right. want the, we want the heavenly riches, not the damn so-called Federal Reserve note. Right. That's trillions of dollars in debt. Right. All right. Because our people set their heart on it. It's a difference if you know, okay, you're just trying to provide for your family, do what you got to do to your best, you know, ability. 
but our people, they get a little money, they'll, they'll kill a, her own family members over a dollar. That's you know right. what I'm saying? So, that that's the difference in it. You can't worship that, man. Hey, right there. Hey, honky, get ready for slavery, all right? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you're going into slavery, man. That's right. You don't want to go? Well, it don't matter. You, you still going according hey, to the hey, Lord. Hey, you hey, know, hey, you know, that's right. right. He's on the side. Yeah, look. Yeah. Yeah, you're going into slavery. <laughs> that's, man, that's right. Yeah, you're going into slavery, boy. <laughs> Listen, you believe in the Bible? Hey, we didn't want to go to slavery. All right, let me show you what the Bible says. This is book of Isaiah, chapter 14. Hey, Shema, Shema, Shema. Watch this. Let me show you what the Bible says going to happen to you, Clark Gable. Give me that. Give me Revelation 13 and 10, man. Let me show you, man. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. So-called Caucasians led blacks and Latinos in captivity, right? You think of his damn name. Give me that. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. You happen to Clark Gable? Shall go into captivity. It's going into slavery, boy. Man, you know what I'm Put your damn cowboy boots on, man. That's how we talk to these damn heathens, man. That's right. That's the spirit of the Heavenly Father. What do you think about that? I'm talking to him, too. Nah, I'm talking to him. What you think about that? You shaking your head. You couldn't do that back in the 50s, could it? Y'all probably had your damn head down walking past the white boy. But we snapping on their ass. Right? That's right. Man, give me, give me Psalms 8. All right? That's what we do. And you take me out here because I don't know. The Lord raising up men to do his bit. That's right. That's right. What you say? Yeah, yeah, you ain't did nothing your whole damn life. Now you waving your hand at us, man. That's right. All right? If it was up to you, we'd be goddamn not doing nothing today. Chilling, drinking the damn beer, bad money on the cowboys, losing it, losing it, losing it. Yeah. 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 I ain't talking about nothing. I'm talking about the word of God. That's right. Brother, they, they, they talk about everything. You read your Bible every day? How many sons did Noah have? How many sons did Noah have? Confounded, man. You don't know. Psalms 82 is the damn basics. You can learn that in the covering book. Out of the mouth of you read, Bible, you read your Bible every day, but you ain't got no understanding. Give me, give me 1 Corinthians 8, verse 2. You said what? I ain't old enough to tell you nothing. Give me on 1 Timothy 4 and 12. Yeah. You just an old dumb nigga, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, first, uh, it's locked, it's locked. 1 Timothy 4 and 12. What you got? Uh, you said 1 Timothy 4 and 12. Give me that. This is the book of 1 Timothy. This is the book of 1 Timothy, Timothy chapter 4 verse 12. It says, let no man despise thy youth. Let no what? Let no man despise thy youth. So let no old uh, old man who think he got some type of wisdom but don't know a damn thing, man. That's right. All he do is sit in the house, clip his damn toenails, and watch Matlock. And I'm supposed to listen to him, man. Give me that. Man. <laughs> but be thou an example. Yeah, we're an example. You ain't an example. We examples of the Heavenly Father. We doing what the Lord told us to do. That's uh -huh. right. Of believers uh -huh. in word, in conversation, uh -huh. in charity, uh -huh. in spirit, in, spirit, in, faith, in faith, in purity. In purity. So we got faith. All right, we showing our faith by our words. Right. All he doing, all he doing over there shaking his damn head, man. Right. All right, but we teaching the words of the Heavenly Father. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 82. And if any man thinketh he know anything. Yeah, so if any man thinketh he know of anything, see, he mad. Give me wisdom of Solomon 5 from the top. He mad we out here snapping on the people that oppressed us. Because they couldn't do that back in their day. You know what I'm saying? They were scared. You know what I'm saying? So, but now he see young men that's doing that. They don't like hearing that. Keep going. He know it not. He know what? He, he know, know it not. Nothing. So he know it for damn thing. Watch this. Give me wisdom of, uh, wisdom, wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Yeah, the righteous man shall stand in great boldness. So we made righteous by Yahweh Shah, the one who died for the Israelites, man. So now he's standing in great boldness. 
If it weren't for him, we wouldn't be. It'd be a Saturday. We'd be out here trying to get damn numbers, chilling at the damn mall, trying to find an outfit, man. All right, just to get, just to go to the club and waste money on drinks and not do a damn thing, man. You know, right. Since before the face of Call Out Partners hit, man, this shit was lit last night. I mean, you know, I mean, I ain't got nothing though. I ain't got nothing. Yeah. As a matter of fact. I ain't even get to show my outfit like I wanted to. I gotta wear this again. You know, what I mean? <laughs> you know nigga, if a nigga don't wear his outfit like he wants to, if enough people don't see him, he gotta wear it. Yeah, yeah. That's the Israelite for you, man. Then show the show righteous buddy. man standing great boldness, standing in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. Yeah, so they afflicted us and made no account of our labor. Labor, we actually standing up for him. Cause he wanted an elder from back then. They probably had to work hard and do all that and they made no account of his labor. So we out here snapping on them for him, for what our, you know, our forefathers had to go through, God. Says when they see it, when they see it, God, they shall be troubled with trembling fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Yeah, the strangeness of our salvation. So it's going to be strange. The one that he thought, they thought was niggas, wetbacks, spits. Right. We gonna be at the top of the hierarchy, man. Right. The kingdom shall come to us first, all right? Give me Michael right. 4 and 8. Bring it up. What you think about Bring that? It you up. be part of that. Man, you just gotta repent, be converted, <laughs> and keep enduring. Give me, what you got? Second, give me, um, what you hold? Nah, give me second, um, second Peter 1 and 10. Bring it up. For Michael the kingdom. Yep. Watch this book. book of Micah, chapter 4, verse 8. Uh -huh. It says, And thou, and thou, O tower of the flock. Right, the tower of the flock. So we the tower of the heavenly father flock. All right, all us the flock. So we got to lead our people in the right direction, according to the scriptures, not our own mind. I ain't just wake up one day listening to a little baby saying, Damn, let me let me go downtown and try to teach some people. No. <laughs> the, you know what I'm saying? The Lord, the Lord had to transform my mind and put the Holy Spirit in me to, like, okay. It's the way walk in and keep going. The stronghold of the daughter of Zion. The stronghold of the daughter of Zion, right? Unto thee shall it come, even the first dominion. The first what? The, the first, first dominion. dominion. So the first dominion coming to the Israelites, to Zion. So they cut all them doctrines. They talk about everybody else gonna be joined with it. Alright, so them lives. It's only coming to Zion, the first dominion. Says the kingdom shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. Of who? Of Jerusalem. Nah, the white man. Of Jerusalem. The Chinese man. Of Jerusalem. It's only coming to the daughter of Jerusalem. That's right. Everybody else gonna be under us and serving us through Yahweh Shah. That's so, right. With they all that Christianity, all that Christian Israelite stuff, it's debunked right there with one prophecy. You gotta get out of that and see what's going on right there. You know what I'm saying? So know the kingdom, the dominion coming to us first. All these other nations. They get the crumbs, they dogs. Give me uh, dang it too. Matter of fact, give me let me show them they dogs. Matthew 15. No, the worst thing. What's Revelation 22? The worst are dogs. Oh, that's a, like uh, uh, 16 and 17. See, it's 22, ain't it? Revelation 22 and 16. Those are without that, our counting that, that dogs. Is dogs. Yeah. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 1 and 10. Bring it up. Wherefore, the brethren, brethren. Slow down. Wherefore, the brethren, brethren, give them. The brethren, Israelites, they, that's our brethren right here. Paul tell you, my brethren in Romans 9. All these other nations, they ain't our damn brethren, man. They, ain't right. Our right. they out here oppressing us, bro, day in and day out. They, they at the top, now we at the bottom, but the road's gonna reverse soon. Soon as we get right, then the Lord coming out here to redeem us, all right? Give diligence, give diligence read on. to make your calling and election sure. So you got to give diligence to make your calling of election sure. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. You good. Yeah, you know. Yo, you, you know about us. You know, we didn't see. We didn't, I didn't talk to you before. I would not apologize to the Heavenly Father and stop doing it. All right? That's right. That's right. No, I repent. Know you're a God on earth. You don't need to be smoking. Huh? All right, yeah, well, repent, man. All right, but um, give rather diligence to make your calling of election sure. Just like if you want to do, if you got a goal you're trying to do in life, you're going to give diligence. You're going to work hard on it. The same way, if you're trying to get the kingdom, you got to you gotta go hard and give diligence, guys. Right. For if you do these things, if you do this, we don't. you should never fail. You should never what? You, you should, should never, never fail. fail. You should never fail. So you'll never fail chasing, with the, chasing the kingdom, doing what you're supposed to do for the Heavenly Father. You ain't going to fail. So that's what we're trying to get the elect of our people 
to know because the Lord said my sheep hear my voice. Right. A lot of people not going to get it. Right. So they got to get destroyed on this side and come back in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like everybody can't get them VIP. Right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't mad then. Like, oh, I'm VIP. I don't care about nobody else. <laughs> but when it, <laughs> when it come to this, they want to include everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Just like if, we was, if you bought a section, you got the bottles flowing, then somebody you don't know just try to come in your section. Like, hold on. You go, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> But when it comes to this, they want to be inclusion. They want to include all the other nations. But what that said in the Bible, it's not in there. Give me that. Uh -huh. They try to assert something that they read wrong. Because yeah, the book of Revelation chapter 22, verse 14 it says, Blessed are they that do his commandments. Yeah, blessed are they that do his commandments. So blessed are they that do the commandments of Yahweh, the Lord God of Israel. That they may have right to the tree of life. Yeah, you want to get the tree of life, right? That's the only way you're gonna get it, keeping the commandments and having faith. And may enter in through the and may enter in through the gates into the city. Go ahead. For without are dogs. Those that are without that that's not doing that are what? Are dogs. dogs. Dogs, man. You don't want to be a dog. That's the other nations. They dogs. Alright, they they below us, all right? They only get the crumbs. We get the whole loaf. That's in the scriptures right there, bro. They only get a. Imagine you see me, we at a damn mom um, feast, and I'm eating a whole loaf of bread. Then a little crumb come off, and I say, "Here, here you go." <laughs> and they gonna be like, "What?" So that's what the other nations get. You know what I'm saying? Crumbs. Give me. God says, "For for without are dogs, go ahead. and sorcerers, sorcerers and go. whoremongers, go ahead. and murderers, and what? And, and murderers. 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 That's what all our people do now. All they they um." They hold modus operandi when they wake up in the morning is to do some type of wickedness. Kill it, kill their brother. Give me Jeremiah 5. Bring it up. Give me Jeremiah 5. Yeah. You know like how uh, they was carried like bushes. Keep going. It says, uh, and murderers and idolaters. Idolaters like old buddy just came up talking about he a Muslim. That's another, that's a whole nother heritage. Right. We not Muslims, we Israelites. Right. And even right. in their so-called unholy Quran, what we use is toilet paper, and when we want to start a fire, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We trying to, you know, we trying to get the fire started. That's we rip that out. Now we can use this. That's right. It say the Israelites were chosen. That's about the only that's about the best thing in there. You know what I'm saying? So if the Bible talk about the Israelites, why well, I'm gonna go read the Quran about the Israelites? Right. Oh, that's backwards, you know what I'm saying? Fire. Yeah, verse eight. This is Jeremiah chapter 5 and 8. Bring it up. They were as fed horses. They was as fed horses. Our people like fed horses. Ready. They galloping. Keep going. In the morning. In the morning, guys. As soon as they wake up. Like I said, as soon as our people wake up, they hold more this apple rind eyes to do evil and wickedness. All right. Keep going. Everyone nine after his neighbor's wife. Everyone what? Nine after his neighbor's wife. What are you here the rappers talking about? I took his, I took his chick. I, I took her. I popped yeah. her. Yeah, I did that. That's all they wake up with, man, because that's, that's been, the, we done learned. Give me Proverbs 12 and 26. Because the slave master, he was doing what? Raping our women, getting out, laying down with our women. With, you know, with another brother wife. So we done learned them ways of the wicked right now. Watch this. Because the, the Proverbs said a 12. What you, what you say over there? Still off on who? Oh, Esau. No, I ain't worried about them, man. They finished in America, man. What undercover? No, the Lord told us to come out. That's right. Right, hell out of here with your damn blade leather jacket on, man. That's right. 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 Look like a bad guy of New York undercover. <laughs> hell out of here. <laughs> the book of Proverbs chapter 12. This nigga watch too much TV, man. Chapter, uh, chapter 12. <laughs> Instead of damn London fall. <laughs> hell out of here. Look, chapter 12 verse 26 the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor so the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor all right so the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor all right go ahead but the way of the wicked the way of the wicked us seeing these other nations the way of the wicked go ahead seduced them seduced them so our people been seduced by all these other doctrines and all this other stuff all right so that's why we got to get our mind back to the heavenly father man you do what Huh? <laughs> yeah, you bugged out, man. Hey, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's what you need to do, man. That's right. That's right. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5 and 26. For among my people are found wicked men. Oh, what? Oh, wicked men. So amongst the Lord's people are found wicked men. So some of our people wicked too. Well, predominantly, they took on the ways of the wicked, man. All right? 
Good. They lay wait they and say wait. Are you, I seen this um in Philadelphia not too long ago, um about a week ago. They lay wait. Some dudes went into the um mall. They lay wait for about 20 minutes. Let on about 50 rounds. They killed three and injured one. So our people be laying in wait. They 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 spot sit down on you. Oh, he finna go do that. Then they'll try to murder you, man. So that's that's against the Bible right there. Go ahead. They lay wait and see that set it snares. It set it snares, go ahead. They set a trap. They set a trap. They catch men. They do what? They, they catch, catch men. men. They catch men. So that's what our people do. So we try to reform our people's mind from doing that wickedness. How you doing, sister? You got a question? Nah, I'm just listening. Are you believe in God? I right, work well, Give me um give me Ecclesiastes 32 and 24. Bring it up. If you believe in God, this is what you're supposed to do, sis. Let me show you. Yeah, 24. Give me Jeremiah 62. This is a book of Sirach, chapter 32, and verse 24. It says, He that believeth in the Lord. He that believeth in the Lord, sis, like you do. Alright? You the chosen of God. You know that? You an Israelite. You come from the chosen people of the most house. Alright? Remember that when you look in the mirror, know that, go ahead. Take it heed to the commandments. Take it what? Take, Take it heed, heed to, to the, the commandments. So you gotta start taking heed to the commandments. Alright? Start learning your head to start learning how you supposed to conduct yourself out here because the Lord left certain laws that we should keep and how we should conduct ourselves. So you gotta start learning them. Knowing you're an Israelite, keeping the commandments. What you think about that? You eat pork? Alright, well that's good. That's a start because the Lord told us we don't need to eat pork. Right. All right, so it's, it's a lot of commit. We, we got high holy days. Um, Y'all give her a flower. Watch this. It's another one. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6 and 2. Watch you know, I have likened the daughter of Zion. The daughter of Zion. You a daughter of Zion. You a precious princess on earth, God. To a calmly and delicate woman. To a what? A calmly and delicate woman. A calmly and delicate woman. All right, so you got to conduct yourself like a calmly and delicate woman out here. Knowing you an Israelite. You know, being shame faced out here and doing your duty. You got kids? Yeah. Okay, yeah, taking care of your kids, doing what you're supposed to do as a mother. All right, so you're going to be on the right track. Just repent. Know you're an Israelite. Do what you're supposed to do, all right? All right. And look at the information. Everything on them. Right? All right? Give me one more, baby. <laughs> this guy funny. <laughs> he got a damn thing to do. Give me that. He st give me a stagger, huh? He said, what? All right. This is the book of Acts, chapter 319. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. That your what? That, that your, your sins, sins may be blotted, blotted out. Your sins may be blotted out. So we try trying to get our sins blotted out and get that white stone that um, Yahweh Shah said he going to give us when he come back, man. That's Lord right. willing, we other men. Give me that. Um, 29 yeah, give me that. That's probably what he, he bugged the hell out. So book Isaiah. Chapter. Hey, come over here, man. Why you talking across the damn tracks, man? Hey, <laughs> what? This the Lord game plan, man. Right, All right, so it's gonna happen. Give me um, give me numbers 23 and 19. If the Lord says it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Like you said, you're gonna have that fake ass leather jacket on and you wore it today, man. All right, Numbers 23 and 19. God, this is the book of Numbers. Don't let the white man know our plan. But he probably damn at the corner store telling everybody what he about to do. Yeah, I'm finna um, get chicken right now and try to bet for the meal you right there with the white man. Hell out of here, but he telling us. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 23 19. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. He what? He's not a man yeah, that he, he should lie. lie. So the, this the Lord plan. He ain't a man that he should lie. If he said it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Right. Yeah, it's That's right. Slavery, man. Thus saith the heavenly Father. Go ahead. Neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Yeah. So he gonna repent of that. It's gonna happen. All right. <clears throat> Give me that. Come. So book Isaiah chapter twenty nine verse nine. Hey, what you say, man? Read another one. Yeah. All right. Here you go. The book Isaiah chapter 29 verse 9. Stay yourselves and wonder. And wonder, read on. Cry ye out and, and cry ye out. And cry and cry. So our people need to cry out. That's what we out here doing. We looking at the wrong that's going on in earth and we crying out right now. We seeing our people getting smoked every day, day in and day out. Get me. They are drunk. They are what? They, they are, are drunk. drunk. Like old buddy over there. Probably on the damn booze for him, good. Damn mad dog. But not with wine. Not with wine. They stagger, uh -huh. but not with strong drink. But not with strong drink. 
So our people caught up in all type of doctrines out here that they need to get out and repent of. Let me give you one more before we go. This is the book of Isaiah. <laughs> that damn piece of probably like Cole. Me, yeah, I remember when Cole had to go get the piece on Martin. <laughs> <laughs> that piece of probably damn freezer stiff. Hell out of here, man. This is Isaiah chapter 55 and 11. So shall my word be that going forth out of my mouth. Go ahead. It shall not return unto me void. It shall not what? Return it's unto me void. void. Yeah, so the word of the Lord is not going to come back unto him void. Right. It's going to happen, man. Right. All right? It's going to happen. If the Lord say it, it's going to happen. So if the right. Lord say, niggas going to get put to death, yeah, it's going to get put to death. Yeah. If he said a white man going into slavery, the damn honkies going into slavery. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. They back day in and day out. You too, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Okay. Right. Get the hell out of here, man. Oh, I see you. And what's in that damn bag? I right? probably damn twelve pack. He gonna bust over his head tonight at the monster. <laughs> but it shall accomplish that which I please, go ahead. and it shall prosper. And the thing where to I sent it. Uh -huh, go ahead. So the word, the word, Lord, the word of the Lord would not come back void, man. I right, it's gonna accomplish. What's up with it, bro? What's up? What's up, what's up with it? You all right? That nigga's lit. What you got going? He ain't blink yet. Somebody behind me? Somebody here with what you got to say, bro. All right, what's your ethnicity, by the way? Indian. You Indian? Okay. Indian, what tribe? You ain't got to be dead, huh? You say who? Iowa. Iowa. I, you from Iowa? Say Kyle. Kyle. Iowa. Iowa. You believe in God? So you're not Caucasian, right? <laughs> nah, you can't lie, man. Give me X13 and T. Just damn teeth down that damn game, son. Give me that X13 and T. Oh, you talk sir? Give me that X13 and T. Give me that X13 and T. It's a book of Acts chapter 13 verse 10 and said, oh full of all subtlety. Full of all subtlety as soon as I asked him, I tried to spare it, guy. And all mischief. All mischief. You probably drunk right now, doing all type of damn abomination. Look, him right. This through the spirit, man. Guy. <laughs> thou child of the devil. Thou child of what? Thou, thou child, child of the devil. devil. You're talking about here, damn Indian. You're not a damn Indian, man. Right. All right? You're a damn honky and you're the devil that the Bible speaks of. <laughs> all right? That's what you do, man. Ah, uh, you got me. <laughs> what you got to say about that? Stop it, Jude. Stop it. Bro, he, I don't know. He probably smoked some damn meth this morning. Man, give me on the please ask his team too. He said, what? He ain't bleak yet. He really got wings. And that's not from the Red Bull. Yeah, he got wings. Smoking on some damn shirt, all right? Look how he running. I didn't know they were going to do that. All right, bro. You be safe, sis. All right, sis. I know you got on the other side of his head, just can't try to do something wrong. Yeah, man, we got all type of damn characters down here. How you doing, sir? You believe in God, right? That's right, so we out here teaching our people that believe in God just to keep the commandments of God and truth and in his spirit. Right. Give, me, give me John 4 and 20. What you got? Ecclesiastes 10 and 2. Give me John 4 and 20. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and 2. A wise man's heart is at his right hand. Yeah, a wise man's heart is at his right hand. So we got to be wise men out here. All right, because there's a lot of evil and wickedness going out here. You got to have a spirit of discernment. Go ahead. But a fool's heart. But, so, but a fool's heart, like we see a lot of our people, they acting like fools out here. Go ahead. At his left. At his what? At, At his, his left. left. Yeah, so they, they're on the left hand of the Heavenly Father. All right, they left, they ain't right. So you got to get right. That's how we telling our people are is to get right with God. Give me that, John. John 4, 22. John. It's the book of John, chapter 4, and verse 22. Crack it up. Ye worship, ye know, ye... Salah. Ye worship, ye know not what. Yeah, these people out here, they worship, but they, they don't know what they worshiping, man. They in all type of man. There's one day, and then they, they messing with Buddha. The next day, they with they damn Cesare Borgia. They everywhere, tossed to and fro. Go ahead. We know what we worship. Yeah, we know what we worship. All right, we 100% up here. We know what we worship. Go ahead. That's why we out here doing it. Now, the people that believe in other stuff, where they at? We out here. We doing what we supposed to do. This is what a man's supposed to do. Stand on what he believe in. That's right. For salvation is of the Jews. It's of the who? It's of the Jews. the Jews. So salvation only of the Israelites. The so called blacks, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians. That's right. The only way you're going to get that salvation if you if you lock in and keep the commandments of God. Keep going. Come. 
This is but the hour coming, uh -huh, and now is. And now is. Now, now this the hour for you, bro. Right. This the hour now is, guy. Right. When the true worshippers right. shall worship the Father in spirit, uh -huh, in spirit, like, like, and in truth, and in what? And, and in, in truth. truth. Yeah, we gotta worship in spirit and truth, not falsehood, man. All right, not out here playing games, nah, we on point out here. Right. So through the spirit of the Lord, we out here worshiping the Lord in spirit and in truth. So he gonna deliver us out of this situation right. if we do what we supposed to do. We gotta hold up our end of the bargain. Right. But if not, this is gonna happen. Give me for, um, 2 Chronicles 15 and 13. Bring it out, bring it we out. see this every day right here. This what the Lord, for us not keeping the commandments and keeping up our bargain, this what the Lord said was gonna happen. Bring it out, all right. God's book of Second Chronicles, chapter fifteen, and verse thirteen. Yeah, yeah. It says that the whosoever, that whosoever of the Israelites, because we enter into a covenant, right. we say, "Hey, we gonna do this. You delivered us out of here. We gonna this. What we gonna do? So we gotta keep up our end of the bargain. He did what he's supposed to do. Watch this. Would not seek the Lord God of Israel. So you only seek the Lord God of Israel. Go ahead. Should be put to death. Should be what? Should, Should be, be put, put to, to death. death. If you ain't seeking the Lord God of Israel, you go. Your ass is gonna die, man. Right. Yes, Point blank, period, man. And we see this day in and day out. People getting the judgment of the heavenly Father. So if you want to get that judgment, keep staying in the wickedness. Or keep doing what he doing over there in the damn leather. I mean the pleather jacket. Hell out of here, man. What's under that damn scully? Read. Keep going. It said, should, uh, should be put to death. Whether small or great, whether small or great, the Lord don't care. He, 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 um, he the king. I'm killer. He don't care how old you is. Right? Small or great, go ahead. Whether man or woman, or whether man or woman. So female, he the king, man. All right, anybody can get it. Like Adrian Bonus said. All right, all right, that's it. So basically, that's it, bro. Repent, come back to the Lord, and strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee, man. And with that, I say shalom. Shalom. Matthew 26, 6. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. Matthew 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, to the Savior, Yahweh Shah. A very precious ointment. A very precious ointment, go ahead. And poured it on his head. Uh -huh, read on. As he said, meat. Uh -huh. But the but when his disciples say, right. we, and know y'all more than likely y'all Israelites, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? All right. All right. Cool. All but right. when the disciples saw it, uh, when the disciples saw it, what was going on, go ahead. they had indignation, uh -huh, read on. saying, to what purpose is this is this waste? Yeah, so they asked him, what's, what's the purpose of this? Why is this going on? Go ahead. For this ointment uh, okay. might might have been sold for much uh, okay. and given to the poor. Uh, read on. When Yahweh Shai understood it, he said unto them, read on. Why trouble ye the woman? Yeah, why trouble ye the woman? Would you, why you got an indignation against her, guy? Right. For she have wrought a good work. Of, she had what? She, she had wrought a good, good work. work. She had wrought a good work. She came with faith and humility to the to the Savior. Right. All right. All right. She right. knew, oh, this this our Lord. This. This this who this who the um the prophecies was talking about. Right. I, I know what this is. We know what we worship. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. For she had wrought a good work upon me. Go ahead. For ye have the poor always with you. Uh -huh. go ahead. But me, ye have not always. Uh, be you not always. So the Lord's not gonna be there always. So we always gonna have the poor with us. So it's all about having humility in his truth. The scriptures say the humble shall be exalted. Right. Right. So this is what it's all about, humility, man. Keep going. For in that she she poured this ointment on my body. Uh -huh, okay. she, did she did it for my burial. She did it what? She, she did, did it for my burial. She did it for the Lord's burial, man. That's right. That's what it's all about. The king who coming back to save the Israelites, man. That's right. That's, That's right. right. That's That's right. right. Yeah. Says, verily I say unto you. Go ahead. Verily, surely. Another word for surely. He said to you. He talking to his disciples then. So a lot of them they ain't understand a lot of stuff that was going on. They ain't had a full understanding yet. Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached, yeah, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached, uh -huh. I right, not the damn gospel that Kirk Franklin talking about right, that, right. that Christ died for everybody. That's no, right, the true gospel, Zion being delivered and the enemies being captured, man, being captives. That's right. right. The, the table's turning. Keep going. Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, in the whole world. I right, go ahead. 
there shall also this uh -huh. that this woman have done uh -huh. be told for her a memorial of her for a memorial of her for what she did man all right so we got to let them know that every time we preaching the gospel we got to let them know that humility that their sister showed to the um the lord and savior hey no hey you ever heard your israelite before all right, we pit for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's right. All right, with that, I say Shalom. Shalom! Oh, praise the Lord. Hey, man. Call me your shoulder! Call me your shoulder! Call me your shoulder! Call me your shoulder! Who got next? We got next! Who got next?